You? We're playing a guessing game. It's better with more people. Father? Oh, you can tell him I'm fine. Maybe he'll come and stay with us, too. Anyway, you should go if you're not going to play. Kitty finds you distracting. I can't go. Kitty says she can't come, and I'm not leaving her. She'd be lonely. You are so kind, Amalia. I would miss you dearly if you left. Of course she's a cat. She just talks, that's all. Talking is simple enough, once you know how. I am a cat, really. Nothing you say will convince Amalia to go with you. She loves only me now. I am her friend, while you are just a stranger. It seems we are at an impasse, so let me propose a compromise of sorts. Release me, mortal, and let me have the girl. Let us return to her father and leave this place forever. Mortals often allow themselves to be blinded by hope. They see what they wish to see. If the father hopes to see his Amalia alive and unharmed, Perhaps he will. Thank you. You are very gracious. The mage's wards hold me within this chamber, and only a mortal may approach them. There is a trick to disarming the wards, but I do not know it. Perhaps you will succeed where the girl failed. Oh, this is so exciting! Kitty is going to be free! I've always wanted a cat, and Kitty is so perfect and pretty. All right. All right. I and like I'm it off. when Kitty sings to me. like cats, but he never met Kitty. And I'm off. Kitty says Grandpa Wilhelm locked her up in this room. Isn't that awful? All right. And I'm off. Going. Huh. And I'm off. Going. Kitty is my best friend.
Yes. Going. I was thinking about the sun, silly. <laughs> I can feel the magic fading. Oh, I had forgotten how it feels not to be caged. Kitty, what's happening? A wonderful thing, my dear, for both of us. Betrayal! You will not take the girl, she is mine! Kitty, you're scaring me! I won't let you inside me! I won't! Sorry I ran away, Daddy. I was so scared. It's all right, Butterfly. You're safe now. All the bad creatures are gone. The phrase to activate Shale is Doolan Hard. If you still want that bloody thing. I wouldn't if I were you. Now we should go, and quickly. Thank you again. We owe you our lives. I knew that the day would come when someone would find the control rod. And not even a mage this time. Probably stumbled across the rod by accident, I suppose. Typical. I stood here in this spot and watched the wretched little villagers scurry around me for, oh, I have no idea how long. Many, many years. Oh, you poor dear. That would be... Really, really boring. 
Then one wonders that you wouldn't be grateful to the one who allowed you to stretch your legs, Gollum. Hmm. Another mage, I see. Charming. <sighs> I was just beginning to get used to the quiet, too. Tell me how all the village is dead. Familiarity breeds contempt, as they say, and after 30 years as a captive audience, I was as familiar with these villagers as one could possibly be. Not that I wish their fate on them, no. But it did make for a delightful change of pace. Well, go on then. Out with it. What is its command? Perhaps. I may have forgotten after all the years of being called Gollum. Gollum, fetch me that chair. Do be a good Gollum and squash that insipid bandit. And let's not forget, Gollum, pick me up. I tire of walking. It does have the control rod, doesn't it? I am awake, so it must. I see the control rod, yet I feel... Go on, order me to do something. And, uh, nothing. I feel nothing. I feel no compulsion to carry out its command. I suppose this means the rod is... broken? Hmm. I suppose if I can't be commanded, this means... I have free will, yes? It is simply... what should I do? I have no memories beyond watching this village for so long. I have no purpose. I find myself at a bit of a loss. What about it? It must have awoken me for some reason, no? What did it intend to do with me? I see. Wonderful. I suppose I have two options, do I not? Go with it or go elsewhere? I do not even know what lies beyond this village. Did I? I remember that I had a former master. The mage with the furry brows who poked and prodded and barked orders. Did I kill him? I hope I did kill him. Perhaps the last order he barked was Gollum, stop crushing my head. Ah! Yes, I'm just funny that way. Yes, very likely. I watched this village for so long, unable to move or act. My memories of anything before are vague at best. So I have no idea what I want to do. I'm glad to be mobile. Is that not enough? I will follow it about then, for now. I am called Shale, by the way. This should be interesting. Vashadan. Yes. Blood and damnation.
Your friends are formidable folk, indeed. It's good to have you along on the road. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy. Friends are formidable folk. Enchantment? I see it found some augmentation crystals. I was not even aware it knew about them. Well done. So, what does it think? They don't make me look any wider, do they? I find I'm already too wide as it is. It must be the vertical pattern it put them in. Did it know to do that? It must have. I think it should find some more as soon as possible. I want to glitter from ear to ear, so to speak. Oh. Oh, that. Merely reflecting on the hopeless nature of the task in front of it. The most likely outcome is that it and its companions will become a stain on some rock for the Darkspawn to tread upon. I shall be moved to a single tear by the tragedy. I think not. I am made of pure rock skin to core. At best, I can become a pile of dust, but a smear I will definitely not leave behind. That's for softer, squishier things like itself and its friends. What's that? Did it hear flapping wings? There may be pigeons nearby. We should be alert. Oh. Different? Different than what? Different than a statue? Different than a log? Should I talk in a monotone? Yes, Master, I exist to serve the Master. I shall kill for the master and only for the master. Perhaps it expected me to have a booming voice. Recite limericks. <laughs> I can recite limericks if it likes. Mostly they involve slaughtering pigeons in creative and invasive manners. I have never met another golem. I have no idea what one might be like or why I wouldn't be like them. Why? Has it met other golems? Did they not sound as I do? I don't know what other golems might be like, but I am already superior by virtue of my free will. This is a good thing. So is being drawn and quartered. Maybe I'm not the only one with a smart mouth, hmm? Now stop talking so much. The wagging of its moist little tongue is distracting. 
If there's anything I can do for... Are you sure I can't interest? Shiny. Oh, thank you. That's very nice. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Why, thank you so much. 